So now we need to look at the class boundary. And this is the number that separates the classes from one another. If the data was continuous, it would be the divider. So imagine, you know, here's our table of people's ages, but what if one of the people we asked to categorize here, we said, how old are you? And they said, well, I'm going to be 21 tomorrow. Technically, that means they're 20. We should put them in that first class of 16 to 20. But really, if we're grouping people by like ages, they should be with the 21-year-old group. So, you know, where does 20 years old and 364 days old go? So that's why we look at class boundaries, so we can be more specific with those things. But the first thing we need to do is figure out how to actually calculate our class boundary. So let's go ahead and look at the steps that we use. What we want to do is we start by subtracting the upper class limit of the very first class from the lower class limit of the second class. So trying to look at those numbers, I start with the upper class limit of the first class. It means I start with the 20 and that's what I'm going to be subtracting from something. So now I take the lower class limit of the second class, which is 21, and that's what I subtract from. And as I subtract those, I get 1. So now I need to cut that number in half, divide by 2, so I can separate the two classes to get 0.5. So now what I need to do is first subtract that value from the first class lower limit. My first class lower limit was 16, and when I subtract 0.5, I get 15.5. The way I set this up, it's kind of the only time you have to do a subtraction. Because now what we'll do is we'll add that same value, the 0.5, to all upper class limits, and then we won't have to do any more subtracting. So I'll take you know 20 plus 0.5 to get 20.5. So I can actually now come up here to my list of all boundaries and start listing my answers. We got 15.5 and 20.5, but now I keep adding to my... Um, uppercase boundaries. So like I'm going to go to the 25, add 0.5 to that, and get 25.5. Go to my next upper boundary of 30, add 0.5 to that, and get 30.5. So what we've done is we've taken this table above and broke it into more definitive dividers <laughs> between each class. So if you look at this table as it's written with the class boundaries, then the first class will really include people who are 15 and a half to 20 and a half. Now, remember I said I wasn't going to subtract any lower limits. What happens is the next class, instead of being 21 to 25, and instead of subtracting 0.5 from 21, you can just copy the upper limit to become the next lower limit. So what will happen is I'll end up with 20.5 to 25.5. Now there's no gap. And then the same thing sort of happens down below. And so I just copy 25.5 to be my new lower limit and 30.5 to be my new upper limit. 